What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Passion Project. This is Hamza, and today we're going to take a look at my boy Kevin's Civic Type R. So let's get to it. <laughs> What's good? So I'm here with Kevin and his Type R. Tell us a little bit about your Type R. Yeah, sure. This is a 2018 Civic Type R. Um, it's got it's pretty much bone stock. The only things that I have to modify is for track purposes. So I do have T37 uh, wheels here. So the uh, T37s are much lighter than the stock wheels. Uh, together with the with the uh, tires, we're talking about 50 pounds. It drops about half. So you know you're you're really improving your unsprung weight so that this car actually moves a lot faster i don't have any plans to actually update like the ecu so the entire car the power is still stock i have just a padded down pipe that's for sound in terms of exhaust uh this is a remus exhaust i think it comes from somewhere in europe um it's valved so there's a control inside the car to close these valves. So if I'm coming home, usually at night, I like to close the valves on the exhaust just to be respectful of my neighbors. Um, so it's got that in there. And that's pretty much it in terms of like any modifications to the car. The car is mainly used currently as a daily, but also as a track car whenever I can get out there. Um, it's an amazing track car for, you know, obviously front wheel drive. Yeah, it um, is. You've lapped me like several times. Yeah, so it's, it has shortcomings because of front-wheel drive, but Honda has really done a great job in trying to minimize, like, especially torque steer. There's almost zero torque steer in this car. You could be mid-corner and you could floor that thing and it'll move straight out like it's all-wheel drive. So it's a really fun car to drive. It's also got lots of space. Like you could open this hatch up and there is just nothing but space in there when you put the seats down. You can put a big, large TV in there. Um, you go grocery shopping. So it's kind of like a... Uh, a great daily and also a great, you know, fun car to drive on the weekends too. Nice. All right, in terms of interior, I didn't really do too much modifications. I do have a dog, so I've got some seat covers on these things, but underneath are basically really nice bucket seats. Um, they really hold you in on the track. Uh, there's really no other modifications. As I was mentioning, closing the valves is on the other side. There's a button over there. All right, so basically the only real modification are two things inside. That is just an add-on for the uh, valves of the Remus exhaust. You push those buttons and it'll that close thing? it. Yep, that, that's, that's it. And it's, it's got like a wolf on it. Yeah. Um, and I think it has to do with like the Greek, something like that, Remus. Um, and then here, this is a, uh, the only other thing is a hybrid shifter inside here, which basically makes the manual throws a lot shorter and crisper. And then this is a uh, titanium shift knob too that I had replaced. Um, other than that, the rest of the car's interior is completely stock. Cool. So what do you want to tell someone who wants to buy a Civic Type R? The pluses, the minuses? What? So, absolutely. The, the, the pluses of this car are several. You can daily this car. It has, it's very easy to drive. The manual transmission, especially even if you're new at driving manuals, um, the clutch is easy. The, the, uh, the acceleration is very linear, so there's not a lot of like bumpiness. It drives almost like a naturally aspirated engine because Honda likes to have all the power up top. So it's it's really easy to drive. The other plus is that it's got lots of space. You know, you could fit a, you know four people in here. You can also put the hatch down and you can put just tons of stuff inside there. So it's a great daily. And then when you want to take it out on the weekends to the track, you want to go on your favorite back roads, or if you're into drag racing you can start to modify the engine i mean right now full bolt-on gives you around up around 370 to 380 wheel horsepower which is not bad for full bolt-on on a light car that weighs around 3100 pounds this engine is capable once you upgrade some of the internals if you want to go past 380 wheel horsepower which is past full bolt-on but getting a big turbo on here you'll need to upgrade your fuel pump um, get a big turbo on here and you can get anywhere up to like 430, 440 wheel. And then once you're on the E-Mixis, I mean, you can get up to 500 wheel and this car will handle it. That's sick. Nice. 
the, there are some negatives, obviously. Um, you know, all, every car does, but it all depends on who you are. For me, the things that I probably don't enjoy the most is, you know, I would love a car that I could drift with, but unfortunately, front wheel drive isn't really a drift car. It you is can, what it is, bro. What you can do is, if you're on the track, you can overpower the front wheels to get this thing to uh, go sideways. That's sick. And then when it does, what you do is you brake really hard right before you turn and just throw that throw that turn in there and it'll, it'll, it'll come out. And the only thing you have to do is just slam on the accelerator and it'll pull you straight out of there. So those nice. are things you can do, that's fun, but unfortunately you can't drift in a car like this, which is, you know, one day I really wish I can get, a, I, I want a car that I can do that. Um, I mean, the only other negative I can say is like, I mean, there isn't a lot with this car. If you want it as a daily and just a fun car for the weekends, there really isn't a lot. But it's the, when it comes down to like car culture and, you know, front wheel drive is not really often viewed as that positive. So, you know, you have to be ready for that. In yeah. A car like this. Hell no. I never liked front wheel drive cars, but your Civic is awesome. Thank Th you. Thank you, Kevin. And, well... Fuck, I don't know what else to say, but... <laughs> but I appreciate you having me on here. Hey, I appreciate you being on here. So, yeah, I'm going to edit this, and that's it.